how are you all? This is a collective energy check-in uh, today as well. This reading is how your person felt the last time you saw each other, spoke. This was actually a suggestion by one of my lovely uh, subscribers here. So I'll do a collective reading and then look at maybe doing a longer pick card for this subject. So let's see how this goes. Let's have a look what Spirit wants you to know about the last time, you know, thoughts and feelings about when the last time you saw this person, the last time you spoke. So because this is a collective reading, I'm aware it's not going to resonate with all of you. So if it does, give the video a thumbs up and drop that comment there. So we've got High Priestess. Okay. The Four of Pentacles, the High Priestess there as well. We have the Four of Swords, okay. And we have the, oh, okay, Ace of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. First of all, I can see that your person isn't, isn't totally tapped in with your feelings with the High Priestess. So there could be something about you when you met, when you spoke, where you kept a lot back. Or a bit vice versa. The gist of the spread is telling me that your person thought that there may have been an element of rejection, maybe coming from, from you, I feel, towards them. So they were worried about that. And I think that hasn't happened. Um, the Four of Pentacles is there. So that is definitely a card of somebody who wants to see you again and wants, wants to arrange something or wants to message you again. But I think that maybe they were worried about maybe you would tell them to get lost or tell them to go away or something is here. But they're hoping to see you again, speak to you again, because the Knight of Pentacles is there. So these Pentacles energy is telling me that they are invested. They are, even if it's slow energy, they'll wait around and they'll have the patience to do that. They're much more at ease now, I feel, that this has happened. Even though they weren't sure of your feelings, I kind of feel like... There's an element of mystery about you that they're picking up, but they definitely want to know more, even if it takes time here. What they were worried about is rejection, I feel, with the Four of Swords. So something in this reading is saying that, that it went well for them. You know, it's gone well. The, the little bit of anxiety, but it's gone well. It's not what they were expecting, possibly, here. The Two of Swords is here as well. The Hanged Man. Hello, we have a nine of pentacles. That would make a lot of sense there as well. And the nine of cups, these two together are telling me that they definitely, definitely have reviewed plans. So the hanged man, okay, it's a bit of slow energy. Sometimes the hanged man can come out when somebody um, is looking at things from a different point of view. And the feeling I'm getting is their anxiety is gone. The biggest feeling I'm getting. And they, I feel like the two of swords is saying, will you meet them again? Are you going to, you, you know, they might be questioning whether you want to meet them or speak to them again here as well. Your Nine of Pentacles and your Nine of Cups. Wow. Card of beauty, card of luck is on their side. So these two nines together are telling me that maybe they might feel um, very attracted to you. They think that you are self-sufficient. You could even have a better job than your person. So, but they're not jealous or vain about it here with this spread. What they're seeing is maybe a spread of, um, um, how can I put it? It's like what I think they thought the meeting or the messages were going to go like. It's gone better than what they thought. Because the element I'm getting more than anything is them feeling a bit anxious of rejection is the main thing. That it's like I can... Uh, I can, you know, it's okay, I can be around you and everything's going to go go okay. So I know here that they're deciding possibly of when to message you again, when to meet you again. That two of swords is telling me there maybe have to be a compromise. So maybe you have to meet at a mutual place or maybe they might, you know, your person might leave it a bit down to you here as well. So yeah, but believe me, they want to see you again with that spread. There is no denying it. They definitely want to meet you again or talk to you again for sure. <clears throat> okay, we've got wow. So this is how real love feels like. Wow. I said they feel lucky, didn't I? I feel like they're not going to communicate that just yet. But you know, you bring out the best in me. 
I am so grateful I met you. Are you sure you're real? I knew that. And we get so much more. I have so much passion and desire for you. It drives me mad. So I know that by your two nines. It's like, whoa, who is this person? You know, who am I talking to? They feel like a lucky person, but they are a little scared of rejection is the only uh, downside to this reading I can see. Okay. Okay. I've pulled out two advice cards. So we've got... Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do, for it's only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. And I've got sacred union. Honour and treasure your relationship, for it is truly sacred. So that is the advice cards that I've pulled out from Spirit too. Okay, my lovelies, thank you ever so much for listening. I hope that resonates with a lot of you. Please give the video a thumbs up drop a comment in the comment section if you so wish i'll be back with longer picker cards really really soon until then hope you're doing really well and stay safe until next time bye bye